Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of the Abyss. In the last part, I don't know how long that part was, but we did the longest side quest in the history of the game, or at least the hardest or longest um, segment of a side quest in the game. Now, um, after Chesedonia sinks, let me see here, it's, no, after you clear the Zao ruins for the second time, come to the Aramis Springs. On the same continent as Doth, if you remember. So, woof, woof, woof. Alright, uh, yeah, my dog impression's not all that good. I haven't really been brushing up on it, and I don't feel like it. So, no, what is he doing? He's drawing, like, a magic circle. He's casting a friggin' spell on me. Shoot him. What's with this dog? Pant, pant, pant. Does he want food? Do you think he'd eat an apple gel or something? I don't believe dogs eat apple gels, Luke. That was a very polite response, considering the question. Oh, shut up, guy. He, he's trying to cast a spell on me! Woof, woof, woof. That's the magical incantation! Quick, tear, kill him! Oh, wait. He's so fluffy. He certainly does seem to be demanding something. Ennis, can you tell what he's saying? Beats me, I'm not Gloomietta. Alright, how, how? Hmm? What is that? Oh, we noticed something. What is it? Hey! Hey, look, there's a person. My, my! There's someone there. He's stuck in the tree roots. How'd he get stuck? Oh. I'm so embarrassed that I'm stuck there. Okay, he's the dog's owner. We don't care. Come on. Blah, blah, blah. All right, now go ahead and... Okay, we're already at you fire. Get some free heals because I feel like it. Just like in case we weren't fully healed. I think we already were, but just in case. Um... Okay, go away, you stupid iron crab. All right, I don't care. The dog, here, dog, and distract him. Go get eaten by the crab. Okay. After you, um... After you come up here, just go ahead and hit the roots with, um, Mew Fire, and then you'll feel him. Or, you will free him. No, you'll, you'll feel him with Mew, with Mew Fire. Mm, okay, whatever. Anyway, ugh. Ow, ow, hot, hot, hot. All right. Pant, pant, pant. Y you saved me, thanks. Are you okay? I'm Sheba. This is my dog, Pico. And yes, I noticed that I didn't answer your question. I just didn't feel like it. Woof. I'm a craftsman from Sheridan. I'm traveling the world to expand my horizons. So, how'd you get stuck there? Ah, well, I was playing with Pico, and before I knew it, I got up on a cliff, and I got trapped behind tree roots to the point where I couldn't move, and I was exhausted. Yeah, don't ask me. It doesn't make any sense. Pant, pant, pant. All right, come on. What a weirdo, no kidding. This guy's kind of strange. What a freak. His tail's so fluffy. Uh, as always, he's only thinking about, she's only thinking about the animals. Oh, I should give you something for rescuing me. All right, blah, blah, we don't need anything. I know, I'll give you this. Thank you for listening to us, jerk. All right, and so he gives you, come on. Woof, woof, woof. What's, what's this, a picture? Yeah, apparently it's a sketch of some noble. I won it in an auction for 50,000 gold. It's a valuable work of art. Seriously? This is worth 50,000 gold? Even I could draw something like this. Yeah, it isn't very good. It's difficult to call this art. Apparently it's a drawing a noble child made of his father. There's, supposed to, there's supposedly one of his mother somewhere out there too. But can we really accept such a valuable item? If he's giving it, if he's giving, we're taking. Come on. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We saved him. We're going to give him. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Go away. Obtain the king's portrait. Now, that king's portrait. Okay, shut up. We don't care. We know he's weird. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and Jade said something. I know I've seen a drawing like that somewhere. Hmm, where could we have seen that before? Uh, wow. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see you back at Coral Castle, actually. So, back to the cliff off. Okay, so we're here in Coral Castle, and right here, remember the throne room area? So, yeah. This is where we can do this now. Hmm, this picture. Yes, it looks similar to the one we received from Sheba. Alright, it looks identically bad. <laughs> Sheba said there was one of the father and one of the mother, right? The one we have is the father, so that must mean this this is the mother. No, really, never would have guessed. I suppose that was the intention. Alright, so... Say, how about we put the picture back here? I feel kind of sorry for keeping them separated. My, my. Wh what? Oh, nothing. Hmm, yes, these pictures should be drawn... Should be together. 
Okay, I'm putting it back then. And, you know, technically, since Luke was born at this size, that would mean that Ash drew those pictures of his mom and dad. So, yeah, that's kind of... If you couldn't, like, guess that already. But anyway, I smell treasure. Alright, so anyway, go ahead and come on in here. And this can only be opened after you started the, um... You know, the music disc side quest. So, Yahoo! Treasure spotted! Treasure, treasure, what could it be? Alright, and it's Requiem. Another music disc. It's, it's just a music disc. Requiem, huh? Almost as if it predicted the future of this castle. Hey, don't say stuff like that. That was originally our vacation home, you know? Oh, right, I'm sorry. But that might not be too far from the truth. Perhaps the lingering, malevolent spirit within it slowly twisted fate and... D don't joke about things like that. Tear sure doesn't do well with ghost stories. No kidding. For all that going on about being a soldier, she sure is a coward. Nah. <laughs> Though I've seen you two just as scared when I tell these stories. That's because when you tell, you're tell, you the one telling them, they sound real. Okay, so, that is pretty much the last official side quest we have to do here! Woo! Oh, we're finally done, except we're not done. Oh, I still have more to do down here. And this is the thing that's, um... This is the Noble Roar Elven Bow thing that we need to do, or at least I need to do, because... Yeah. Anyway, um, from here on, I'm pretty much just gonna show you the search points that we need to go to. Um in order to get all the items that you're gonna need. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna probably post a link to the, um, you know, the Din Shop Guide, you know, the Game Facts one again in this video so you can tell what you need to do and what you need to get. If you're playing the game for yourself and you wanna get this, then that'll be help very helpful. But for the people that are not, it'll just kinda be a little thing. It won't really be important, but yeah. Anyway, first off, the first search point that you're going to need to go to, well, actually you can do, go to these in any order, but really the three that you need to go to, you cannot do this without going to these three at least. Um, is it this one? No, it's this one. You have to go to right here. I believe this is uh, search point like three, if you look at the world map of the game. You need to go right here, so mark that. If you're doing this for yourself, uh, remember that. That search point, the one north of Engave, which is up in this foresty area up here. Hang on. It is right up here. You should be able to see it. There. You need to go to this one. You need to go to those two. And then there's one more that we need to go to, which I'm going to be going to right now. Because um, you need only two items from this uh, search point up in the Outer Lands that haven't fallen yet. So that's what I'm going to be doing first. I'm going to be getting it out of the way. And since I already have a silk thread from the one that was near Rotel Row Bridge, um, that one's actually done too. That's all you need. Mostly, you just have to go to the one near Engave. But the things that you need, you need one silk thread, two Highland rubies, and then just a whole lot of consumption points in the bow line. And that's really about it. And then you can make it. However, that takes a little while to do, so it can be really annoying. It is definitely worth doing, but it'll take you a little bit of time. So I'm just going to go to this search point, this last one we need to go to. It's south of Belkind. So, yeah. I think I'm just going to cut to me having the uh, rubies after I at least show you where it is. Just in case you forgot, because I'm nice like that. I'm going to show you what you need to do, but I'm not going to show you every little thing. I don't want it to be too torturous. Um... After I show you this, I may just uh, cut to me having everything and then just making the bow. Because why make it boring and just torture you with that, you know? Alright, iron ore, rock, yellow pigment, yellow pigment. Alright. So, when you go to this um, the search point, just go ahead and back up or go forward, whichever way you landed. And then just go into Belkin and then go back out. And then just spam this search point and then you'll eventually get your Highland Rubies. Just remember that you need two. You need two Highland Rubies. You need one to advance in rank in 
um, the shop, and then you need the Highland Ruby to make the special request item, which I'll be getting into that when we actually make it, but just remember, you need two Highland Rubies. Anyway, I will see you guys when I have all the stuff I need, so see you in a bit, or several hours, whichever one it takes. Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of the Abyss in the last part. Oh wait, whoa. Uh, right. This is the same part. Okay, anyway, um, hey guys, I'm back for just a second here. Um, <laughs> I got, um, some items. I've been grinding for items in those, um, search points, and right now I have 26 insect wings, 10 charcoal, 1 silk thread, and 2 highland rubies. Also, um, if in your travels you get a travels, you get a giant fish bone, be sure to hang on to it. Just, um... Just trust me, hang on to your giant fish bones. Anyway, go ahead and talk to him, and, or her. I just can't, like, make anything good. Don't complain, we're bringing you trade items just like you asked. Indeed, we're searching far and wide for them. But still, Nat, I'm hardly making any money at all. Nat. You're a curious cat, Nat, so don't you, like, want to see a lot more different item kinds of trade items? I'm a curious cat? Yeah, you're like a whirlwind of curiosity. For some reason, that doesn't sound like a compliment. And you get the Curious Princess title, finally. Go forth to, like, greater adventures. She's using us as gophers. Did you say something, huh? Huh? Fine, we'll keep looking, sheesh. Alright, now, the thing that I did in order to get the title was, um, let me see. I made a couple, I made a few gels, I made a sword, and actually got a really good sword for Luke. Um, I got a katana, which is uh, 500 power, as opposed to the Wastier Rapier's 300 power, so yeah, that's really, really nice. Um, now, I'm going to give you a little example of the, of the power and the majesty of the Curious Princess title. Um, the Curious Princess title makes it so that you have an 80% chance to find a level 2 item, which is very, very helpful for this um, particular objective that I have going. Because the items that you need... Oh, nah, stupid sandstorm. I suppose right now I'll go ahead and mention this. There are a few places in the world that have hazards in the air that you can't fly through. There's a sandstorm, a thunderstorm, um, a blizzard, and actually fireworks that you can never fly through. The other ones, the sand, all the other storms, you'll be able to fly through them, but at a later date. So we'll be getting back to that later. Anyway, the items that we've been getting, the insect wings and charcoal from this search point north of Engave, these are the items that you really want to get because they're very easy to get with Curious Princess and they will give you points in the bow line. See, now watch. Um, come on. Okay, we get... Wow, that was actually a really bad example. Don't worry, I know that that title gives you 80% of level 2 items. Trust me on that. Um, yeah. Whatever, it's, it was supposed to work, but of course it didn't. Anyway, I've already wasted enough time doing nothing. But once you get the Curious Princess title, get back to work getting um, insect wings and charcoal, and then I will be back later when I make the bow, finally. So anyway, see you guys in a bit again. Hopefully I won't forget that this is all the same video. Anyway, see you, see you in a sec. Hey guys, welcome... Dang it, I forgot again. Okay, hey, I'm back now, and I have a whole crap ton of items. I've spent maybe two or three hours grinding at that, um... You know, at search point, I've got 99 insect wings, which, which is the most amount that you can carry, and I've got 20 charcoal. So hopefully, I'm gonna get through most of this stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, if you're looking at... Um... Uh, like, if you're playing with the little guide on GameFAQs about the shop, what you need to do is trade in some items. Here, first I'm going to get rid of all these Roneal Mushrooms and all the stuff I don't need. So, yeah, just going to get that out of the way. Coke, my bark, anything else? No. Okay. These are the four items that you really need to get through this. All right, no, I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. All right, okay. Now, start trading items. Go ahead and trade... Uh, 10 insect wings to start off. Okay. That will get you through level 1, I think. Alright, now. Uh, let me see. Okay, shut up. Alright, now, let me see. Make an order. 
Let me see. Is there a bow? Yes. Okay, bow. Now, see, as you can see, with a small payment of 600 gold and 1,500 gold, that is after um, 10 insect wings or anything that will increase the amount of consumption points for bows. Now, after you do that, go ahead and trade in 18 for a total of 28. So now we've got 28 consumption points in the line of bows. And it's still going to say clothing. I don't know why, but anyway, here, let's see. Make an order. Has it changed or no? All right. Now, okay, it has not changed yet. Now, um, in order to advance to level um, 2, you need 28 points, and then you need to trade in either a giant shell or a piece of car uh, charcoal, which we have. So I'm going to trade in a piece of charcoal. Okay, now, all right, shut up about the clothing. I don't care. Make an order. Now, let's check bows. Right, now, see, now it's gone up. The one, small payment of 1,200, average payment of 38 or 3,000, and a large payment of 6400 Okay, so now you need 60 points. So now we need to trade in 32. So, yeah. Okay, 19. Let's trade in all the charcoal, because we're not going to need that anymore. So, okay, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I can count! Wait, is that going to be enough? Yeah, okay. I think. I'm not sure. Okay, now. Um... Let me see here. Make more. It's not going to change it, but I just... Am I at 60? I don't know. I'm not good at counting. I've only got one silk thread, so I'm going to trade in another, like, five or so. Or... Let's trade in, like, seven. That's good enough. I know that I'm not going to have enough points to really get through this, because I need, I need a total of 130 to make the elven bow. And I can only get about 129. Um, no, 119. Whoops. But anyway... Now I'm going to try trading in the silk thread. All right, and 6,400 was the biggest amount that we could trade in before. So now, ah, bow and staff has gone up. So let me check bows. All right, make an order. All right, bow. And aha, it's gone up to 12,000. Awesome. Okay, now we need 100 points. So I'm going to trade in about 40, and that ought to do it. So go on up to 40. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Go, go, go. All right, 40. Because we were over 60 last time. And now... All right, shut up about the clothing. Jeez, I don't need clothing. I'm clothed. Okay, now we need to trade in a Highland Ruby. And then... Okay, Highland Ruby. One Highland Ruby. Okay. Now, biggest amount last time was 12,000. All right, and now it's 20, 25,000. Now we just need 30 more consumption points, and then we can make the uh, elven bow. So now you can kind of see what, you, what is required to do this kind of stuff, to increase your amount of um, the consumption points and the level that you're at. So that's really what it requires. You're going to need to look at the guide if you want to make these specific items so that you can know what specific item you need to trade in and how many consumption points you need before it'll advance you a level when you trade that specific item in. So, with all that said and done, I'm going to head back and grind for just a little bit and I'm going to grab the rest of all these insect wings and charcoals and I'll see you back in a bit where we finally make this elven bow. So, see you guys in a bit. Sorry about, sorry that this video is taking so long, but hey, this, just so you know, this is the end of the boring stuff. We can finally get back to the story after this, so woohoo. Anyway, okay, and I remembered, and I'm back. All right, now I finally have all the items that I need, and we can finally finish getting this stupid bow, except it's freaking awesome. Okay, oh wait, make a special order? Oh, I can already make it. Awesome, I'll take it then, elven bow. All right, now, in order to make a special order, they said they really need a Highland Ruby to make the Elven Bow. You want to give me? Yes, I want to give you it. And blah, blah, blah. That is how you get a special order item. You need to have the specific item that is required to actually, you know, make it. When you get to the point where you can order a special order, then he'll tell you, or she'll tell you the item that you need. But it's nice to have it beforehand. So anyway, now with our finally got the elven bow. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, check it out. How much power is it? 700. It's not even the most powerful bow in the game, though. All right, a sacred bow from legendary race. Always flies true to its target. This is the bow that you need in order to use her second hidden mystic art. So, 
with that all done, I'm going to go ahead and end it off this very long video. In the next part, we're actually going to get back to the story. Who would have guessed? So anyway, thanks for being patient, and I'll see you guys next time.